फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू एक्सपोर्ट फाइनेंस स्कीम फॉर एलिजिबल एक्सपोर्टर्स नो बडी कैन कंप्लीट बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन वेदर इट इज एक्सपोर्ट ट्रांजेक्शन और एनी लोकल बिजनेस विदाउट मनी एंड फ्रेंड्स एज एन एक्सपोर्टर टू एग्जीक्यूट द एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्डर यू नीड एडिक्वेट मनी क्विक मनी and money at low cost there are different sources of money available to an exporter one may be you may be getting advance from foreign buyer i think this is the best method of financing the export transaction from advance from the importer second source may be you arrange money from your own friends and relatives and third is finance from the bank banks have excellent financing schemes for eligible exporters to arrange goods for export not only that when they are waiting their export payment during a credit period they need money and bank provide finance to them so that they can continue with their business activities banks provide finance before date of shipment so that you can acquire the goods and after shipment they finance and convert your credit sales into cash sales now friends let us understand bank finance schemes in details now we will discuss the export finance schemes of the banks in detail so that you can understand the technical points involved and to select the right financing schemes first of all to find the exact financial requirement exporter must understand the cycle of export transaction it starts with fund raw material you need raw material and other inputs to manufacture the goods then manufacturing the item and you have to do finishing and special type of packing for exports then friends you have to send the goods from your city to the port by local transportation and ultimately goods will be shipped and you will get the documents and these documents within 21 days from the date of shipment you have to give to your bank for purchase or discount of the export documents let me relate this export transaction with a real time order of an export item let us suppose you receive export order for shipping garments so you need money to buy textile to buy thread buttons and other inputs and to make the full shirts then this textile will go to the manufacturing area and labor will manufacture sleeves collars front side back side and ultimately this labor is required to make the finish shirts and specially pack for export then friends these goods have to go from your premises to the port so that they can be delivered to the shipping company and after shipment you will have documents and the most important document will be bill of lading invoice packing list marine insurance etc etc and these you have to give to the bank within 21 days from the date of shipment for discounting and purchase site bills are purchased and if you are giving any credit period to your buyer then 
those documents will be discounted. Discounted means bank will charge interest in the beginning and they will again provide you the funds. And friends, this export cycle will keep on going. Every completion of export cycle will create profit and funds to you. And friends, today we are talking in details how to arrange the funds which is the first stage of export cycle. These funds can be arranged from your own sources, from banks, but I personally feel it is always better to arrange finance from the bank if you are not getting advance payment from the buyer. And if somehow you can arrange money as a advance payment from exporter, then this is the best method of acquiring finance for export transaction. Friends, banks have excellent scheme to finance the total export cycle of the exporter. Let me share with you and with the help of this cycle you will understand comparatively better the raw material stage, manufacturing stage, finishing and packing of goods stage, local transportation. These are very important stages of shipment. Pre-shipment means before the date of shipment, whatever business activities you are doing, they are called pre-shipment activities. And for all these activities, bank have the scheme to finance. After shipment, post-shipment stage will start. And in the post-shipment stage, you are not having goods. Goods have already left for the country of the buyer. What you will be having in your hand are called documents. And in banking language, they are called bills. You will have bills, mean various documents relating to underlining trade transaction, which from this stage, post-shipment stage will start. And in the post-shipment, only you have documents and bank will provide finance against these documents. In pre-shipment stage, you have goods at various stages of manufacturing. At post-shipment stage, you have documents. Bank provide finance depending upon the activity of the exporter. If exporter is a manufacturer exporter, then finance will be provided by the bank in for acquiring the raw material, processing the goods, finishing the goods, local transporting the goods till the date of shipment. And friends, we should try to get adequate, quick and cost effective finance from the bank. If you will not get adequate finance, then you will be having a shortage of money. Shortage of money will create delays and export is a very disciplined activities where, wherein you have to meet the date of manufacturing completion, date of shipment, etc. And if delays will be there, you will are going to have big problem. Buyer may cancel the order. Cost of money will also increase with the delays. So endeavor should be to get adequate finance from the bank and not adequate but cost effective. Very shortly we are learning how we can reduce as an exporter the cost of finance from the bank. At the pre-shipment stage, and it is clear, it starts from the date of order and end with the date of shipment. Friends, three dates are very important in the export transaction. Date of order, date of shipment, and date of payment. 
the period which start with the date of order and end with the date of shipment is called pre-shipment stage and the period which start from the date of shipment and end with the date of payment is called post shipment stage why we are understanding these stages because as an exporter you will be doing different type of business activities in these stages and for all these business activities you need money and bank provide money for those business activities and the basic nature of pre shipment finance which is given to exporter to acquire raw material for making payments to the wages labor wages packing and transportation till shipment for these activities bank give finance and friends very shortly you will learn this bank finance is really a very very beautiful scheme for exporters that's why nearly all the exporters good exporters they take bank finance to execute the export order post shipment stage starts after the date of shipment and it ends when payment is received and let me share with you you will not receive the payment in cash in your hand your bank receive the payment that's why in export transaction banks play very very important role and i personally feel as a exporter you must open account your export firm account with the bank branch which is authorized dealer to handle in international business because you will get good service from that particular branch especially payment will be received by your bank not by you post shipments finance provide a financial assist to the exporter when he is waiting for payment in export transaction you will find this waiting period is comparatively longer than local business because goods have to go from your country to foreign country then documents have to be sent from your country to importer country then you have given some credit period to the importer so this waiting period for payment is comparatively longer but as a businessman you need money to do other business activities and for that you need funds and bank provide funds at the post shipment stage so friends pre shipment and post shipment finance stage finance is given by the banks in rupee as well as in foreign currencies and friends this is really a good scheme as an exporter you are eligible to take finance in dollar finance in pound finance in euro finance in yen why this is a very important point to understand why foreign currency loan for my export transaction reason is moment you go for foreign currency loan you will be able to reduce the cost of finance rupee rate of interest is comparatively higher than dollar loan or euro loan or pound loan now question arise which foreign currency loan i should take when i am executing my export transaction and the answer is please check your invoice currency if you will be invoicing the export transaction in dollar dollar loan will be better if you are invoicing in euro then loan in euro will be better if you are invoicing in yen loan in yen from the bank will be better 
because in this way there will not be any currency risk. Now, let us try to understand in details the pre-shipment finance which are given to exporters. And for that, first of all, I should be very clear about the definition. The definition and purpose of pre-shipment advances give money to exporter so that he can arrange raw material. Number two, arrange labor to manufacture the goods. Number three, for packing and finishing. Number four, for transportation, local transportation to the port. For these main business activities, packing pre-shipment finance is given and the name of this finance is packing credit. This is the name bank has given the finance which they are giving and if you look quite critically, it is sort of a working capital finance. In short, it is a working capital finance to exporter so that they will be able to arrange and manufacture them and ship them. The quantum of this packing credit bank calculate order wise. They will discuss with the exporter the amount of order and they will discuss what type of expenses for raw material, for manufacturing, for packing etc. will be there and then they will give the packing credit advance in rupee if you want. And with this money, you can buy inputs or other materials to create goods for shipment. Most important part is interest rate the period. If exporter is taking packing credit advance in rupee, then concessional rate of interest will be charged by the bank. And to have an idea about the interest rate, it is always better to contact your bank or visit the website of the bank regarding export period given to exporter at shipment and interest charge. Normally, these interests are linked to the base rate roughly base rate plus one and a half percent extra because base rate is is different for different banks so rate of interest will be base rate plus 1.50 percent will be the net interest exporter has to pay to avail packing credit advance which is given to exporter at the pre-shipment stage here even if you are not having order, but you are supplying goods to an exporter who will ultimately ship the goods, you will be called sub-supplier exporter. And sub-supplier exporters are also eligible for packing credit advance. And if you are taking this advance in a rupee, then you will be eligible to have subvention assistance of three and a half percent. If you are a small scale exporter or exporting from the area where a lot of uh, labor intensive uh, items are there, then bank gives three and a half percent subvention mean concession in interest rate through the bank to you. Let me share one thing because this is the cheap money and bank is giving quickly on priority basis, they will ensure the end use of the money which they are giving to exporters. For example, if you need money for raw material requirement, they will not give money to you. They will ask the name of your raw material supplier. Bank will like to send the money directly to the supplier of raw material to you to ensure the end use of the money 
which they are giving to you for export activities. For small activities like labor charges, packing charges, bank will disburse the money in the current account of the exporter so that he can use it. And friends, as I told you, packing credit facility can also be given in foreign currency, in dollars, in pounds, in euro, and yen, and other such currencies. And majority of our export business is invoiced in dollar. So if you get order in dollar, you can request the bank that instead of giving packing credit in rupee, they must give you finance in foreign currency. What benefit you will get as an exporter is low rate of interest because foreign currency loans are linked to LIBOR, London Interbank offer rate and they are very low and normally bank charge LIBOR plus three and a half percent. LIBOR of dollar for six months is about 0.75% three and a half percent is the spread. So four and a half percent will be charged by the bank if you are taking dollar loan. Now I think it will be very clear to you if you are taking a rupee loan, even after subvention, the cost will be around seven percent or seven and a half percent. And whereas if you take foreign currency loan, the cost of the loan will be around four and a half percent. So you can save lot of money, cost, interest cost, when as an exporter, you are going for foreign currency loans. Now friends, after availing pre-shipment finance, you are able to ship the goods. And after shipment, post-shipment stage starts. And let us try to understand what is post-shipment finance scheme of the banks, whether I can raise post-shipment finance also in foreign currency instead of rupee to reduce the cost of my borrowings. Friends, definition is any bank finance given to exporter after the date of shipment is called post-shipment finance. And we have already seen and discussed at the post-shipment stage, exporter will have only documents. If you have not given any credit, site documents will be there and site documents are purchased by the bank. If you are giving some 30 days, 60 days, 90 days credit, then bank will discount the documents. Discount means they will charge interest equivalent to the credit period which you have given. If there is a letter of credit, bank will negotiate the document and make payment to you. Sometime, exporters send the documents on collection basis and after 10 days or 15 days, he need money but payment will come in this case, say after one month, after seven, 10 days, he can make a request that please give me advance against export documents, which were sent on collection. They were not purchased by you. They were not discounted by a bank. So I need money. Please give me. In that case, bank will make advance against the export document, which have been sent on collection basis. But friends, you have seen, in this case, post-shipment stage, money is given against a document. Period is 180 days. And again, at the post-shipment stage, you can request the bank to give you post-shipment discounted amount or purchase amount in rupee or in foreign currency. If you are taking advance in foreign currencies from the bank, this advance, total advance, whether it in rupee or in foreign currency, 
will be adjusted when actually the payment will come from foreign buyer friends we have gold card scheme for exporters this gold card scheme is meant for exporter who are in the business of export for the last 3 years and generating profits this scheme is by ministry of uh, this scheme is of ministry of commerce government of india where you will get lot of benefits if you want to know the detail of the benefits given to gold card holder exporter then you have to visit the website of the bank for this let me friends tell you a technical background of this finance of course we have given the name pre shipment post shipment finance but let me clarify you when bank is giving you money for raw material export finance starts and they are releasing money in stages when you do shipment you have to give the document for purchase and if bank is purchasing those documents first of all they will recover the pre shipment finance amount given to you along with the interest and balance whatever profit you have they will give the profit to you actually pre shipment and post shipment is a part of export finance but they have been divided in a different stages so that bank can have control that exporter is using the money for export activity only up till now we have discussed the various aspect of bank export finance to exporters so that they can execute their export transaction successfully we have seen that most important for part of an exporter is to understand the complete business activities exporter will do during execution of the export order because for every stage you need money and bank has a scheme to give you money so that you can complete various act business activities relating to the export transaction we have discussed in pre shipment finance they give you money so that you can arrange goods or manufacture goods and you can avail finance in rupee as well as in foreign currencies say dollar and the benefit of dollar foreign currency loan is the cost of borrowing will come down you will become an efficient exporter because you are doing arranging money at low cost secondly after post shipment stage you have seen and we have discussed quite in detail after shipment exporter has documents bank will buy discount or negotiate the documents and give the money to exporter his credit sales will be converted into cash sales by post shipment finance to become a successful exporter it is always better to use bank finance to complete pre shipment as well as post shipment activities thank you